Okay, so I want to walk you through how you can create uh, donate buttons and uh, accept one-time donations and reoccurring donations. This is a website I did for the organization Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, their donate page, several of them, but here's their main one, and you can see what we did was give people a couple options. One was a one-time gift. If they click this, it's a PayPal link, but I just used my own button. So if I click that one-time gift, right here, Mid Illinois Big Brothers Big Sisters one-time gift, they can select their donation amount, send, they could sign into PayPal to do that, or they could use their uh, credit card or bank account, they don't need a PayPal. Um, so let me go back. Here's monthly giving they can sign up for, and if they click that, so this is monthly gift, the terms on this is $25 for each month, which you can make that whatever you want, and then the amount $25. Here's the kicker with PayPal. They don't allow this to be, with accepting donations, they don't allow this to be open-ended as far as I cannot, the, the donor cannot select how much they want to give each month. Um, with this link, I just said $25. Um, they can come, they could email me and say, hey, can you create me a button, a link for $50, and you could do that, but they could sign up with PayPal, do the 25 a month, or credit card and debit again. One of the other cool things that we did was uh, a memorable gift. Uh, somebody wants to give a gift in honor, a memory of somebody else. They just click that. It was just another way, just a one-time gift, open-ended, open amount. We just wanted to give them an option, and they fill this out and when they get in there they can say hey this is who I wanted to go to but just trying to think of different options for people here's a donation starter just goes to a site with lots of different PayPal buttons with with mat with fixed um, amount so they could say hey I want to make the perfect match okay it costs 50 bucks they click give now it takes them to the PayPal page and it says fifty dollars and they fill this out um, so how did I set this all up Let's log in a PayPal. There's lots of different ways of how, of how you can get to the same exact spot on PayPal. What I'm going to do is just click on, type in here, nonprofit. And then uh, nonprofit overview. You can also just type paypal.com slash nonprofit and you'll get here. So here's how you, you can create a donate now button without really any programming skills. And they give a donated rate if you're 501c3 and you, you have to send them paperwork and they have to accept you. Very easy to do. People don't need a PayPal account to be able to, to give money to you. Um, here's the pricing. It's 2.2 percent plus your 30 cents. So on two, there's a 200 or two dollar and fifty cent fee on a hundred dollars. And you can see their standard rates is 320 on a hundred. So if you're actually doing a lot, then um, you really want the donated rates. And if you have the 501c3, why not go for it? Um, so if you just hit try now, you're going to go to their their uh, donate button maker. Um, so we're going to keep it on, uh, here's your button type, we're just going to keep it on donations. What I did was just click organization name or service, they're on my website already. So I'm just going to click one time gift. Don't need an ID unless you need it for your tracking. This is all about how to customize your button. I used my own button, my own graphic, but you can, you can keep that one. Currency, US, this is saying how much. You can leave it open ended to on my on ours. We kept it open ended on one part, and then the other part I did fixed. Um, so it kind of just depends. Merchant account, you can leave that alone. This is this to save your buttons. It's saying, hey, do you want to save this button for later use? Why not? This is to customize some features on hey, where do they go after they donate? What page does it send it to? Do we want their address or those sort of things? Then all you do, create button. Here's the um, HTML for your website. 
or here's what I use is this the email link if we go back to our website I just put I just drop that image in and then that link is that email link I give them so I don't mess with all that other code um, so let's just go to create a new button subscriptions um, and so item name I'm gonna do uh, recurring gift you can name it whatever you want currency here's all your 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 again to customize the button just gonna leave that for now the amount the, here's the the deal there's not a feature in PayPal that allows the people to get to to fill in how much they want to get per month so I just set it has a default for us and our website 25 bucks you can do you can create tons of links and put on there hey if you want to give 25 click here if you want to give 30 a month click here whatever you want to do but the billing cycles I have a default is it happens one every month you can change it to every day they get billed or every once a year they get billed or once a week they get billed most people give once a month um, how many cycles do you want it to stop you know they could sign up for you know two years whatever I just leave it on never it never stops it always takes money from them until, unless they cancel it here's the track inventory which you don't need and then here's the customize again do you want their address do you want them to go to a page after they donate is successful that sort of thing create button there it is HTML or you can use like I do this code so how do you get that um, that discount go to product um, I think that's the wrong one go to merchant services I always have a hard time finding it but website payments standard is the name of their service is what you want to sign up for um, there we go so don't click try now because it just goes to the button maker um, but what what you need to do is just take create an account it's free it doesn't cost you anything but this is where you get the ability to send them your information so you can get the discounted rate on 501c3 so you just uh, you know automatically just click uh, start now it's saying you selected this when you click start now and I don't know if I can do this since I'm already set up I don't want to mess anything up but if I do start now I'm already I'm already signed up. Yeah, I'm already signed up. But when you get here, it'll say start now. Um, you click it, and then it'll give you a list of. It'll say, hey, what type of business are you? Just make sure you hit nonprofit. And then what it will do is say, hey, you know what? If you want to be nonprofit, we need these forms. So that's it. If you got any questions, let me know. I hope this helped.